I'm Eric Engelbert with Orange County Real Estate, and we're going to do a market report recap for the last seven days, uh, August 23rd through August 29th. The first thing I want to touch on is this report that came out about new construction homes having 10 months of supply available uh, for sale. So this is a little misleading because nine months of that supply is still under construction. So it's not just sitting there available, available to purchase right now. Um, and builders are kind of dragging their feet to complete those. Uh, we do still have some supply chain issues, so it's been taking much longer than usual to get houses sold, but also because these rates have gone up, demand for new construction has really dropped. So new construction has been suffering more than resale homes because of those high interest rates. And now they're purposely gonna slow down on finishing those homes because there's just low demand. So until the rates drop, the demand, that market's gonna be interesting and see what happens. Another uh, thing with that market is that there's not a whole lot of new permits. So I think after those 10 months of um, new homes are finished and sold, they're not planning on building anything after that. So they'll probably sit on the sidelines and wait till rates start to come down and demand starts to come up. Uh, so we're gonna keep an eye on that and see what happens there. Uh, the other uh, news, was that uh, purchase loan applications are down 25 to 30% around the country. So that goes hand in hand with new listings being down because 80% of home sellers are also home buyers. So if people aren't selling their homes, they're not gonna be applying for loans to buy new homes. Um, that uh, we touched last week on why people aren't selling. Uh, they have great interest rates locked in. Uh, they've had so much appreciation. Uh, it doesn't make sense for people to sell if they're gonna uh, have to pay a lot of capital gains and also have to pay a higher tax base when they sell too or when they move. So those are some of the reasons we touched on, but it's not necessarily a scary thing that loan applications are down. It just makes sense because new listings are down across the country, uh, down just a little bit here in Orange County as well. So let's jump into the data really quick. Uh, the first slide is our inventory here in Orange County versus the US. Uh, so Orange County, we have 3,869 homes for sale. That includes single family homes, condos, uh, townhomes, and two to four units. And then in the United States, Single family homes is 551,900. That's just up slightly from last week, um, but hardly any change there. And then under contract and pending in Orange County is 2,161. Uh, and that is down just slightly from last week. All right, let's look at the next slide. And that's our days on market in Orange County. So days on market is going up everywhere in the country. So our median days on market here in Orange County is 39. That's up last week. And our average days on market has gone up to 49 days. So a little bump in both of those from last week. Um, not really any major outliers. We're seeing a lot of um, in the entire county uh, days on market between 20 and 50, which is very, uh, I think, consistent across the across the county nothing's really looking um very different or having a major outlier i did put um old town orange on here uh their days on market is 23 so that's one of the lowest uh, samples and then i put the days on market for 2.5 million and over being 74 days which seems like a long time uh, but really it's still pretty low for for the luxury market it's still considered a seller's market um, all right, let's jump into the next slide, and that uh, is uh, the first one is sold price versus list price. We've actually, uh, in the last seven days, we're 2.4% less than the list price, so that means that there's not a bunch of bidding wars. How homes aren't selling for over list price, so they didn't get a bunch of multiple offers. So. And we touched on that last week, how sometimes the highest price isn't necessarily the best offer, especially these days when rates are high and people are having a hard time getting financing. Uh, so sometimes, you know, people might take the, the offer at list price or a little bit below if it looks like it's 100% going to close or just looks like a stronger offer. Sellers have to be cautious about just trying to get the best price. They want to make sure that they get an offer that um, is going to close. All right, the next line, immediate sales in Orange County. These are homes that uh, went under contract within the first two days of being active. That's way down to 2.3%. And then in the entire country, it's also gone down a little bit to 15%. 
Uh, so there's still demand out there, but um, the immediate sales are going down. Um, price reductions in Orange County, that number's gone up to 12%. I think it was 7.4 last week. And then in the U U.S., price reductions are at 41%. Oh, we talked about that last week. Those other markets, Boise and Phoenix and the Tampa area, and Salt Lake City, where um, really those markets were 60 days um, 60 days on market or 60% price reductions, excuse me, it's had 60% price reductions there. So, and their days on markets are going way up too. So those little areas were outliers really affecting the total price reductions in the US. Uh, so, but anyways, 41% is very high. Um, also, the 30 year fixed rate is up to 5.95%. Um, that went up from last week, it was 5.72. So. Uh, the 10 year treasury is at 3%. So we'll see, keep an eye on that. I don't know, the feds haven't necessarily come out and said what they're gonna do, but um, sometimes the rates do different things than what they expect. So we'll see, keep an eye on that, but that's definitely affecting demand and affecting, as we've seen, new construction sales as well. Um, all right, if you are targeting a very specific neighborhood um, or just a city, please let me know. I can get you data uh, for that area. It's important to know that data as a buyer and as a seller so you know what to expect. Also, it will help you tailor a better offer uh, for those areas and possibly a better sales price. Again, you don't want your house uh, to be sitting on the market for very long, anything over 30 days, and buyers start thinking, oh, there must be something wrong with that house. Maybe we can lowball them, um, but it's good to get any type of communication going with a potential buyer and you can explain, you know, maybe what happened, but it's good to start out at the right price. So you don't want to be sitting on there for very long. All right. Um, just reach out any way that you can, uh, email or um, DM and we can get you that data. Thank you very much for watching and have a great week.